Hi, my name is Holly Broder, so I'm an early career scheme leader looking after apprentices and graduates at JCB. I actually started JCB as an engineering degree apprentice. I'm Jade, I'm a design engineer and I work at CAB, so I've been at JCB for the last six years. So, my name is Molly Burrows and I'm a level six manufacturing engineering degree apprentice. Uh, my name's Erin, I'm an engineering degree apprentice and currently I'm working in power systems. My name is Doris Kramber, I am a senior engineer at JCB Power Systems. Um, my current role is looking after engine oils and coolants for JCB machines. So I'm Georgia Turner, I'm a quality engineer at JCB Heavy Products. Working in engineering, there's not many things that surprise me in the fact that it's so welcoming, you know, you don't get seen as a female in engineering, you are just a person who's good at the job and rightfully needs to be there as part of the engineering team. Working on production, helping build the machines, I think it's the variety and the engineering sort of encompasses so many different roles. There are quite a few challenges you face as a woman in engineering, but I only see them as opportunities to prove people wrong. I don't think there's really surprises in the job role, but it's fast paced, you get used to it. You certainly don't know what you're going to be doing the next day, things can change so fast here, but that's a good thing. As a woman in engineering, the main challenges I face are it's not a very diverse sector to be working in, however it is very welcoming and they all respect your views and decisions. Um, I think I've always been a curious person, so engineering was almost like the, the step for me. I always knew what well, I love to understand how things work. Uh, the biggest project I've been involved with is the world's fastest tractor, so that was a great experience, getting to be involved with the design work of that. One of the most things that I was proud of as being part of an engineering uh, company and being an engineer was all the range of projects that I was working on. I think for me, um, coming towards the end of doing my actual degree, um, and being able to write a dissertation about a project that I was working on at the time, which was electro-proportional controls on a one-ton excavator. I think my proudest achievement is working on the new electric site dumper. So it's our first uh, fully electric site dumper into the range. My proudest achievements, obviously, there's been quite a lot of things I've done. It's when you work on a project and you actually see the end product of that project, you know, leave longer than you were there. I was involved with launching the electric load all. So that was a great opportunity to develop my skills, understand the implications of putting a product into mass production to a degree. One thing that people should be aware of is that any opportunity is there for anyone to take, as long as you're willing to put the work into it. Just go for it, take every opportunity you can possibly have and just grab it with both hands, regardless of whether you've got to work something else out, just get on with it first and then work out the logistics after. <laughs> you know, working in an engineering industry, being able to actually um, come and do that, you know, it's okay to come and work in engineering, it doesn't matter who you are, as long as you've got passion and drive and determination and you're willing to work towards the same common goal as everybody else, it's exactly what um, everybody should be doing. And obviously the more women there are in engineering, the better. For me, in my role, I feel as an equal and I'm not treated any differently. And I felt like I have been supported by JCB to feel equal in any role that I do.